All right, welcome to early measurement history. And with this, you will be doing a activity called history of measurement. And so we're gonna learn about some early forms of measurement. So what do the following terms mean? The cubit, the fathom, the handspan, the pace, the foot, the girth, and the palm. Well, these were all early forms of measurement. So we're going to start off with the cubit. The cubit was the measurement used by the Egyptians to build the pyramids. The cubit is the measure from your elbow to the tip of your finger when your arm is extended. The fathom. The fathom was originally used by sailors to measure the depth of water so that boats would not run aground and be stranded. The fathom is the measure from fingertip to fingertip when your arms are stretched sideways as far as they will go. You sometimes see a rope or fabric measured in this way. The handspan, which was used to measure the height of horses People still describe horses as being so many hands high. The hand span is the measure from the tip of your finger or tip of your pinky to the tip of your thumb when your hand is stretched out. So this would be one, two, three, four, hand span. Then we have the pace. You've seen this probably on your watch. This is the term used by the Roman army to judge speed. The term is still used frequently during various types of foot races. The pace is the measure of distance from one step to another. The foot, the most common. It's a measurement equal to the length of an individual's foot. The girth, my most feared. This is the measurement often used to measure fishing line. The girth was the measurement around one stomach, your belt measure. And there it is for a horse and their saddle. The palm. This is the width of your four fingers when they are placed together. So you would place them as this girl has on the table. That would be one palm. You could spin it over two, three, four, and so on. Some people found measuring in this fashion to be quite challenging. And I hope that you will find it as well. So they developed standards. So in the activity that you're going to complete, you are going to use different forms of the measurement discussed in this presentation and then you are gonna go around your home and try to measure them in that same way using these historic forms of measurement. Later, we'll measure the same things with more traditional standard forms of measurement.